What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and why I'm still super bullish for the somewhat near term and long term futures for this company, despite it being at 28 right now, guys. I'm still very, very bullish. I'm also going to be talking about the overall stock market and the latest pieces of news that just came out that can affect AMC as well. I'm also going to talk about the Ortex data, the volume, and all those important pieces of data that you need to know about AMC to get an understanding of where this thing is probably going to go and why I'm so excited for the future. Now, before I say anything about about AMC, I do have to mention some very important things. First, first off, I'm not a financial planner, guys. This is all for entertainment and educational purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, but benefits the entire ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below in the description. If you do sign up for Moomoo, you're not only going to qualify for an iPhone 13 Pro giveaway, meaning you may win an iPhone 13 Pro, and this is your last day to sign up for this plan, but you're also going to get up to five free stocks, each with up to 3,005 hundred dollars by simply checking out the link down below so with that out of the way guys let's get on with the video so amc is looking pretty good right now guys up over 3.54 percent and a lot of tech stocks did have some bits of runs in the upside direction as you guys can see neo is up about 14.76 percent a lot of stocks just went to the moon x bong too and that's very very good in my opinion because we were waiting for this big run and it does look like we're seeing a bit of a santa rally from here on out now look at the s p 500 we hit an all-time high not too long ago, guys. I mean, if I look at the chart uh, on the 30th, which is today, we hit another all-time high. Then we dipped down to about 475. So the S&P 500 looks like it's ready to really run. And it does appear like we're seeing the start of a Santa rally, which came really late. And this is probably going to continue up until the beginning of January, or at least for 2022. This is a very good sign, in my opinion, especially considering the news that's coming out. As CNBC has reported that the key to Fed rate hike it may end up being the 2022 paychecks of americans so this is kind of a, fed, a fud article but it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world it states right over here that the fed shared jerome powell he cited wages as a key inflation signal to watch in 2022 he is stating the fact that there is going to be a, a wage price spiral in which rising pay feeds rising prices some economists say it's already here and as you guys know there is a shortage of the amount of people that are actually available to work right now if you were to look at, at employment data and that in turn is leading to you know wages going up and the ways of life increasing as well that's contributing but that's not all, the only factor that's out there but that in turn is what's leading to some fear such as the fed increasing rates at a higher rate now that in turn is not something that's scaring the market right now because right now the market looks pretty calm look at the fear and greed index it was at 60 yesterday as you guys can see right here it was at 60 a couple of weeks ago we were fearful extremely fearful and now we're at 62 which means that the higher we go guys the better it is as the market is becoming greedier which is another sign of a santa rally so what does this mean for amc this has had a bit of a positive effect for amc as it's up over 3.54 percent for the day which is not too significant but still pretty good especially after all the red we just saw and if we look at all the different indicators the cci is showing some very good signs too guys amc is looking better now let me zoom in right over here and you guys can see that we're still below a lot of uh the long-term exponential moving averages but we are kind of getting above the shorter time frame ones so that's a good sign in my opinion amc is getting the support it needs and showing more strength than before now right now the current rsi is at about like what is that 53.58 it's above the 40 right yesterday we were at like what is that the 40s i believe 36 to 40 now we're at about 53.58 which is a good sign the cci is showing something very similar as the macd is also crossing with the 90 moving average showing that amc is ready to start running up but i do have to talk about max Payne, which i believe is currently at around 28 dollars for the day or i'm sorry 30 dollars so because of max Payne, the hedge funds are probably going to try to bring amc below 30 which is probably where we're going to close tomorrow but at the end of the day guys i'm not scared whatsoever because when the new year starts guys i think amc is going to get ready for some big moves i still consider it heavily 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 undervalued so to speak and i do think we're going to see some good moves coming up now i do want to talk about other pieces of data that are very important for us to be paying attention to the volume is at about 36 million which is still pretty healthy but not as great as we had anticipated but i do think the volume is going to start peaking around january maybe towards the first or second week and i think that we're still getting ready for some big moves the short volume percentage 
uh, I'm sorry, it's right here. As you guys can see, there's a lot of um, short positions being created. There's a lot of selling that's still in control. And people that are shorts are in a little bit more control than people that are buying, which is because the volume is still relatively low and there's not as much buying as before just yet. And now, at the end of the day, guys, even though this is going on, AMC is still doing pretty well. We're still at $28.94. And now, I know that's a little bit low. It's lower than like 40 But at the end of the day, guys, they're not bringing it down once again. They're not bringing it down to 25 or 20 again it looks like amc is showing the strength and it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger now look at the the dark pool data look at the offlet exchange percentage it's at 57.5 once once again amc is heavily manipulated and all these crazy tactics are really in play now let's just talk about the ortex data real quick because this is the last thing i want to talk about before i talk about where i see amc going and if you look at it right here guys the estimated short interest percentage of the free float is at 16.93%. It's down almost 11%. I don't know what to say about this, okay? AMC's, it, it doesn't make sense. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't trust this number. I don't trust it whatsoever. I'm going to release more videos about why I don't trust it, but I just want to put it out there. I don't trust this data entirely. I think it has truth behind it. Maybe short interest dropped a little bit, but at the end of the day, guys, it could easily be much higher. It could easily be over 20% as this is the data based off, I believe it's 85% of the exchange. But I want to talk about something else that's important. That is the fact that utilization is still kind of consistent. It's at about 77.49. What does this mean? This means that a lot of shares are on loan right now. And we're seeing days to cover at a pretty higher rate than before, but I'm I want to talk about this because of the fact that utilization is at a higher rate or I'm sorry, a lower rate than where I'd want it to be. This is because there's a lot of shares being loaned out and they're using it to short AMC shares. They're trying to dilute the price and do all sorts of crazy, crazy things. We could see some short ladder attacks coming, but at the end of the day, guys, it's still looking pretty, pretty strong because of the fact that look, utilization is not that bad. In fact, I do think it's going to start creeping up and it needs to creep up in order for AMC to make a big run. Now, looking at this data right here, as you guys can see, the days to cover is looking not too bad. It's getting a little bit higher than before, which is a good sign for AMC. It looks very similar to what was happening in January, guys. In my opinion, it's very similar. Now, the days to cover remained at a higher rate for a couple of like weeks before AMC really ran up, before it started dropping. And that's what's happening right now. It's starting. It's starting once again. So I still you know, anticipate a good run is coming in weeks, not a couple of months, in weeks, guys. I think it may take three to four weeks before we see AMC really go to all-time highs again and i think that it's based off a cycle the fractals are really playing out i'm going to release another video uh, about the fractal theory of amc but right now it's looking pretty good so i want to note something because max pain is at around 30 they're going to try to bring it down tomorrow be prepared but remember it's not the end because these same people have not covered. So nothing has changed, guys. The narrative is the same. And there is a lot of misinformation out there about AMC's true short interest or what's going on. I don't know what AMC's true short interest is. I just know one thing. That, that is, it's heavily shorted and these shorts have not covered, which means AMC still has that insane potential to run. With that said and done, guys, it's looking pretty good and healthy. And I can't wait for what's going to play out. So remain patient, remain calm, cool, and collected, and never, ever give up on your dreams. I'll see you in the next one, guys. AMC to the moon. And and peace out.